Previously, we had a look at Metzerlen Mariastein, completed a hike to the top of Bergmatte, visited Mariastein Abbey and enjoyed a night out in the city of Basel. It was time for our trip to Grindelwald, where we'll be staying for the next three days visiting some of the best local attractions. It's a 200 km drive from Metzerlen and we will be stopping over at Luzern and Berningen. to Luzern and look at this. The city of Luzern is located in the central Switzerland in the German-speaking portion of the country. Located on the shores of a beautiful lake Luzern, it has a site of Mount Pilatus and Rigi in the Swiss Alps and has long been a popular destination for tourists. With a population of over 80,000 people, Luzern is the most populous city in central Switzerland and a hub of economics, transportation and culture in the region. After the fall of the Roman Empire at the beginning of the 6th century, the German Alemannic people increased their influence on this area of the present-day Switzerland. Around the year 750, the Benedictine monastery of St. Liedega was founded, which was later acquired by the Murbach Abbey in Elsass in the middle of the 9th century. By this time, the area was known as Luciaria. The origin of the name is uncertain. In any case, the name was associated by popular etymology with Latin Lucerna, or Lantern, from an early time. In 1178, Lucerne acquired its independence from jurisdiction of Morbah Abbey, and the founding of the city probably occurred that same year. The city gained importance as a strategically located gateway for the growing commerce from the Gotthard trade route. By 1290, Lucerne had become a self-sufficient city of reasonable size with almost 3,000 inhabitants. About this time, King Rudolf I von Habsburg gained authority over the monastery of St. Leodegar and its lands, including Lucerne. The populace was not content with increasing Habsburg influence and Luzern allied with neighbouring towns to seek independence from their rule. Along with Luzern, the cantons of Uri, Schwitz and Unterwalden formed the internal Swiss confederacy, known as Eidgenossenschaft, on the 7th of November 1332. Later, the cities of Zurich, Zug and Bern joined the alliance. With the help of these additions, the rule of Austria over the area came to an end. The issue was settled by Lucerne's victory over the Habsburgs in the Battle of Sempa in 1386. Well, what a lovely town. The little streets, the architecture, everything is so beautiful about the city. Too bad we're just passing it by. I think this city deserves to come around and spend a day or two and properly explore it. We continued making our way towards Grindelwald, enjoying the views along the way. Berningen. Is that, is that the name? Yeah, that's Berningen. Ber Just Ber before Interlaken. Berningen. Careful, guys. And the reason why we stopped here is because this place is right on the lake. And that lake. Oh, that lake is so beautiful. You should see this. Well, <laughs> you will see this. I'm really tempted to jump in. Yes, see? Berningen and Brienze. Berningen. Brienze. 
it's a good map here. Bönigen is first mentioned in 1261 as Villa Boiningen, so our mispronunciation of the town earlier on had some merit. The name Bönigen, meaning of the people of the Bono clan, is comprised of the old high German personal name of Bono and the toponymic suffix of Ingen. It lies on the shore of Lake Brienz, near the mouth of the river Lucine and adjacent to the resort town of Interlaken. The Lake Brienz is about 14 kilometers in length and 2.8 kilometers in width, with a maximum depth of 260 meters. It is fed by the upper reaches of the river Aare, as well as Giesbach, Faulhorn, Schwarzhorn and by the river Lucene, flowing from the valleys of Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen. we continue towards Grindelwald. This is going to be our base for the next three days. Tomorrow we will be visiting Schiltern in the village of Muren. We will then check out the Trümmerbach and Lauterbrunnen waterfalls. So beautiful, right?